Hi, my tubies, my TikToker, Sheila True Love here with you. Yeah, I want to share some sprinkle sprinkle with you. And she's teaching you how to get over heartbreak. Sitting around here moping and crying over someone who didn't appreciate you, didn't value you. You know, her thing is you get up and go out there and find somebody else. You know, uh, they have this uh, cliche, the best way to get over one person is to get up under someone else. That don't mean sexually. It, do not, it does not mean sexually. It means to go out there and don't just isolate yourself. This person who didn't appreciate and value you, I have my hat on because I'm having a bad hair day, but it, and this is just easy. But the person who didn't appreciate you, yeah, just move on. Of course, you have to take the time to heal, but that should not stop you from hanging out with your friends, going out on dates with other people as a, as a friendship. If they want to move too fast, you got to let them know, slow down, slow down, because we know narcissists, those are the ones who always want to move fast anyway. What's the rush? I don't think that anyone should get into a relationship unless they form a friendship first. Me and my son was talking about that just today. We have to start off as friends. We're not trying to hurry up and jump into the bed and all of this crazy nonsense because we see how that's not working. Anyway, let's listen to Swinkle Swinkle. Anybody who decides to suffer from heartbreak, that's a choice. You could be on a date the next day, child. I know I do. Whenever I used to break up with somebody, I'd be on a date the, the next day. So, like, honestly, I don't waddle in suffering if the person... Is, is done, I'm done, and I'm on to the next. And that's how everyone should be. You should not sit there and be sad. You know, only if they die. Only time you should be heartbroken and cry for days is somebody died. Okay? That person is still alive. They just don't want you. Okay? So, you know, being an ex-mortician, it's like, okay, you sitting over here crying and depressed over some dude that said that he didn't want you, but this person just lost a, you know, their husband, their child, their wife. I don't feel sorry for you. Get up and get out and go find another one. Okay, you still alive. Act like it. Because some people that's dead, they can't get them back. That's the person that you should really be heartbroken over. Somebody you can't go out and replace. You can go out and replace these people. They're still alive. They just didn't want to be a part of your life. So just go replace them. It's very easy. Just get up and go find another one. That's how you get over it. They don't have to be your boyfriend. They can just be dinner for the night, date for the night. Thank it, you. you know, whatever. But just get out and go start. Because the longer you sit there, the, the worse it's going to get. I agree with this message 1,000%. It don't have to be a boyfriend. It could be your girlfriends. It could be just going out on a date, going out to have dinner with someone. But sitting around moping, that's not going to do you any good because that person is not sitting at home moping over you. I was telling my girlfriend that just recently, and she listened to me. She's on Facebook, and they're, they're hitting her up in her DMs. She sent me a couple of uh, the, the, the snap our conversations and all the dates that she has lined up. Hello. My mom always taught me and thank God I, I always adhere to that one monkey. Don't stop. No show. And I assure you, they're not sitting up there crying and moping about you. I agree with sprinkle sprinkle.